Hello everybody, today we are going to test the stator on your scooter and in this video I am going to show you how, how. This is the stator of your GY650cc scooter, right here. It comes with a, a magneto or a flywheel right here, that's on the top part. And the back part is the stator. These are very popular in the GY6 family 150cc. This one they have six coils, okay? Now they come out with the one white wire, one green one and one yellow. And this one is another red right here and we have a blue, okay? Now this blue goes to the CDI. The, this one goes to the CDI too, to power up CDI. The blue one tells the CDI to fire up the spark plug, okay? Now the blue one is connected, the blue wire is connected with the pickup. This one is a little sensor that fills when this little mark right here and the magneto pass by and tells this to fire the spark plug, okay? That's when it goes by. Now, where is the magneto on your scooter? Where is the stator? The stator is on the right side of your scooter, on the lower side, okay? Right on the back. Now, first one, you're going to see a cover, that is a black cover, then you have a fan, and then behind that, you have the magneto, right here, the bobina, that's how we call it in Italy. This one is the bobina, stator. This one produces electricity for your scooter, okay? Now, I have a little secret how to remove uh, your stator from your scooter. Your stator is located on the right side of your scooter. This is the stator, right here. If you look in the center, right here, there is a little indentation, okay? That's where the shaft comes out from the motor and that's where you have to put the little indentation that you have right key right here make sure you keep an eye on that okay now to remove the starter from your scooter you need to have a puller right here this one is to pull out your starter because unfortunately you cannot pull it out with your hands okay you cannot do it like eh, no cannot work so you have this one you're going to place this one right here and make sure you turn left with this part right here, you screw in not right, you screw in left, okay? You see, you put it in. Now, when you feel that this one doesn't go in anymore, slightly turn a little more harder, try to make sure it's nice and tight. At this point, you're going to screw in this one, turning right. So this one will pull out the flywheel. So you're going to see the Maniero, the starter, okay? Right here. Without this one, you cannot do it, okay? So you need to have the puller right here to remove your starter, okay? Especially to the move, remove the flywheel right here, okay? That's what you're gonna need. The little pickup right here, sometimes it gets dirty over here. So, sometimes it might not give you the signal to the CDI and the spark plug to fire up. So with a little bit of sandpaper, just clean this part right here, so this sensor will work again. Because sometimes it's just a little rust or just a little dirt right here that doesn't make this one work. That's very important, okay? Now, to test this stator, you need a multimeter. So you can check for continuity, okay? Multimeter so you can check for continuity Continuity between the wires because sometimes the wires can be shorted, okay, and you can not have any current coming to your scooter You're not recharging your battery. You don't have any Spark plug fire, okay, so your spark plug doesn't ignite, okay, but that's mainly this one that doesn't let your spark plug go and fire so this is the little problem. The only problem is sometimes this one is no longer good. The, the little pickup, little sensor. But now you have to buy the old starter because they will not sell you only the pickup, only the sensor. So you have to buy everything. 
fortunately, it's not really expensive for a GY6 scooter. You're talking about maybe maximum $30, $40. If you're talking about some uh, Italian scooter or a Vespa, they might charge you a lot of money. You might be talking about $400, Stator, with the pickup and everything, okay? Now, the, yes, yeah, you can say that the Stator from a Vespa will last a lot longer than these ones. But this one, I tell you, not really bad. For what you pay for it, you get a lot for your money, okay? So, the only reason why your spark plug is not firing many times is just the little sensor right here, okay? Now, to test this one, we're going to need a multimeter. Okay, right here we have a multimeter. I want you to place the multimeter on 200 ohms, okay? 200 ohms is right here and has a little beeper, okay? And uh, this one, the homes uh, look like a horseshoe, okay? Now, let's see if I can find a way to put this one right here so you can see. Now, these ones are the wire they are coming out from the stator, okay? From the bobina. That's why it's producing electricity to your scooter. Now, you're gonna need like a little, maybe, one of these one, a little alligator clamp, and you're gonna attach it to the white wire, okay? That's one of the wire that's gonna bring uh, the electricity to your rectifier to rectify your current because uh, this stator is producing an AC current now your battery is a DC so you're going to need a rectifier to change the current to a DC current okay now those are the yellow wire and the white wire now since I attached the alligator here on the probe right here of the multimeter I'm going to attach the same alligator of the red one right here so I'm going to have a little more reading okay now these two they're gonna be right here now this alligator that is a black negative I'm going to attach it to the negative probe okay of the multimeter right here and we're gonna put this one right here now I have the little other side of the alligator that is right here and to test uh, the yellow and white wire, I need to connect them together. Now you're gonna either you're gonna hear a little bit from the multimeter. Now make sure you're not going to do this one on a metal surface, because if not, maybe the stator right here is going to read the, the metal surface too, because it's going to touch the metal surface. Now, when you attach the white and the yellow, you're gonna have a bit. Okay? This is the resistance that is in uh, the stator okay so look like there is no short to the stator at the moment the current of the multimeter is going from the white wire to the yellow wire on the other side look like it's working fine okay now if i place this negative side of the multimeter to the green one should not sound should not get in reading if not there is a mix of touching or shortening somewhere okay so see if I touch this one, if I put this wire on the green wire with the alligator, I'm not having any reading. So that's fine. That's the way it should be, okay? Now, this is the test that you're going to do with these three wires, okay? To check if your multimeter is working, okay? Now, okay, if you like to test the pickup sensor on the ground right here, you should put the little alligator on the ground right here. That's what is getting the ground from the metal and from the motor. It's getting grounds, negative, okay? So you should put it right here. Now, to test the other side, there will be how much resistance this sensor is getting. You should try to place the probe right behind, right here, right behind the wire. Right here with the red probe, you can touch the blue. And you're going to write a reading, okay? That is the, the resistance that the sensor is giving, okay? It's 157.5, okay? That's the resistance you're getting to the sensor. Now you, can, now you really want to make sure that the wire right here, that is going right here, this is the wire for the pickup. It's gonna tell the spark plug to fire up. You 
going to touch the probe with the red probe right here and you're going to see that you still have 157.5.6 that's the resistance that you have in this cable right here from the sensor okay so the blue wire with the red probe and the black alligator right here at the sensor okay so you should get a reading now these wires are controlling the lighting this one is for the lights of your scooter but at the same time they're going to rectifi rectify to make sure they will give you a DC current okay those are the three wires usually they have a little connection that is like that okay this is the connection that you have so you just put the connections in and you are good okay this one they always separate those are two separate wire now this one goes to the CDI to power up the CDI and this one goes to the CDI too but this one tells the CDI to fire up your spark plug okay now what you really want to make sure that those wires one by one they're good because they're getting here to your stator but you want to make sure they're good so what I want you to do I want you to get the alligator clamp right here that is a black and you're going to put it on the green wire because now we're going to test the ground on this stator okay so if you touch the alligator clamp right here now with the red I want you to touch the center part you know the, this this part right here is where is going to attach to the motor okay now if you touch it you have a ring should have a reading okay this is reading is the resistance between this wire and the base see zero zero point five or point four that's what you're getting okay now this one we know that is right but now if you touch with this probe these wires like the yellow one right here or the white one you should not go have any readings because if you have a, re a reading you have a shortened okay somewhere these two are touching the ground they should not touch the ground okay now another way to check uh, is the reverse way you just put this black right here and you're going to touch the center right here of your stutter okay now you should not hear any beeping or no reading okay because they should not mix this one the yellow one and the white one and the green one should not mix so if you touch in here you should not hear any reading or any beeping but if you touch here where the where the cable comes right here you go it should be here like a beep so that means that the wire that attached over here there is a yellow wire has a good connectivity you know so the current goes through in a perfect way okay now you can do also with the white one you attach the white one right here with the alligator clamp and you should touch you try to touch the center part okay the center part that will be the ground you should not get any beeping or any reading because if you do right here you have a short somewhere now this white wire goes here now if you touch the white wire here you should get a reading so that means that the wire is good okay so that's how you can check these three wires okay now the red one right here is going to power this one is going to power your CDI okay so if you put them together right here you should not get any reading okay this one is touching the white one you should not get any reading but this one is touching the black one you should not get any reading okay So now if you like to test uh, this wire right here this connection this one is the one who's powering the CDI this one will charge the capacitor discharger injection or CDI now if you like to test this wire you take one of the probe and you put it inside a little more on the side in the way it's gonna read and in this side right here And on the other way, you're going to 
find the wire that goes to the Start on right here. This is the red wire. If you don't find this side, usually it's on this side because usually you got the white one right here, the yellow, and the green right here. And the red that, that charge the CDI is right here. Now, if you touch this one and you hear a beeping noise, that means that you have a current flowing through this cable. Okay? Continuity. That's what you have. That's what you really need. At this point, look like you test your starter, and your starter should be working, okay? Now, many times, it's not the starter, but many times, it's right here, it's the pickup. If you don't have spark on your scooter, the pickup, that's the problem, okay? Right here. Now, if you don't have current on your scooter, and your battery is not charging, or your lights are not working on your scooter, or they're working very dim, so now we are talking about the stator that is not recharging your battery or is not giving enough power to your scooter to turn the lights on okay anyway this one is a really simple device but look like it's working fine and uh, it's gonna help you to uh, go around with your scooter now many times it gets a little rusty right here many times it gets a little rusty over here so after maybe 10,000 miles if you want to open up the stator and clean with a little sandpaper right here, you will have more power coming to your scooter, okay? Because sometimes there is one that gets slightly, they get slightly rusty, okay? Now, many times it's also about maintenance on your scooter that helps your scooter run a lot better, okay? Now, this one is a very simple device and easy and makes your scooter run the right way. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. I just show you the stator of the GY6 150cc. I hope this video will help you with your stator. I hope this video will help you understand what the stator does to your scooter, okay? Thank you very much for watching my video. Feel free to click like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for new great videos. And thank you.